Shu Dao, the primary route connecting the Qin and the Shu regions, starts from present-day Xi'an, Shanxi, and ends in Chengdu, Sichuan. Guangyuan, namely Lizhou, in ancient times. It has been praised as the gate to northern Sichuan and a key point of Shu Dao. If Shu Dao were a pearl necklace, there would be a luminous pearl among those precious historical relics scattered in Guangyuan. Guangyuan's Thousand Buddha Cliffside Sculptures Guangyuan's Thousand Buddha Cliffside Sculptures are located 4 kilometers north of Guangyuan, to the east of the Jialing River. The ancient Jin Niu Road of Shu Dao winds along the Jialing River. These grottoes trace their beginning back to the late Northern Wei Dynasty. The Tang Dynasty witnessed their heyday, while the Qing Dynasty saw their decline. They came up as a must-visit attraction for those traveling on Shu Dao in ancient times. Undergoing millennia, the cleave along Shu Dao was carved with hive-like niches for Buddha sculptures. To date, this Buddha cliff measures 388 meters in length and 45 meters in height, comprising 950 niches for over 7,000 Buddha sculptures, becoming Sichuan's largest grotto complex. The Dayuan ancient cave, located at the center of the Buddha cliff, is the largest grotto of the Thousand Buddha Cliffside Sculptures and embodies the magnificent style from the Tang Dynasty. The giant Buddha grotto inherits the style from the Northern Wei Dynasty and is characterized by an austere and simple appearance. The top of the lotus cave is decorated with a blooming lotus, while its three walls are covered with Buddha sculptures exhibiting a gorgeous hue. In a thousand Buddha grotto, the walls are inset with thousands of Buddha sculptures showing the ingenuity of ancient craftsmen. Notably, there stands a sculpture acclaimed as the Oriental Venice, with a lotus in her hand, a bejeweled crown on her head, and her hair tied up. She has a pair of slender eyebrows and a long eyes, wearing a smile and a performing like a bashful girl. It turns out to be the attendant Bodhisattva sculpture. Would you like to discover in person?